Hey kids, it's us again. That's right. It's the city and beyond, and we're here with another airline review. And this time, we'll be reviewing Alaska Airlines. This was our first time flying with them, and we took them all the way to the other side of the country in San Francisco, a place we've never been before. So a lot of firsts going on here. Be sure to stay until the end of the video so you can get our overall score. If this is your first time here, we'll make it easy for you. We rate airlines on a scale of one to five, with one being we would rather walk than fly on this airline ever again, and five being it is worth every single penny that you earn. Heading to San Francisco, we flew in the main cabin, but flying home, we upgraded to premium just to get the full scope of the experience. If you'd like to see a video about the difference in our experience, leave a comment below. Let's start with luggage. Do I really need to say it? We do not do checked bags. And have been using primarily these personal size bags for our travels. With Alaska Airlines, from what we can tell, all passengers are allowed to have a carry-on size bag. Moving forward with boarding, since we initially flew with a main cabin ticket, we were in one of the last groups to board. But we have to say, the boarding was pretty seamless and quick. That's with our gate attendant being trained, and it was still fast. So needless to say, being last didn't matter much this round. So once you get on the plane and you put your bag in the overhead, what do you gotta do? Sit down. So let's talk seats. The seats were super comfy, but there's more. Not only did we have enough room, but so did our bags, which was real nice. Our seat belts had plenty of space for our bellies. We also lucked out with not having anyone between us. No complaints about seating at all. And since we are ready to close the door, just once more time, one more time, make sure we're gonna prepare for departure. Make sure your seat back and tray table are up. Bags and larger items, including laptops and tablets with attached keyboards. This aircraft was a Boeing 737 MAX 9. It was clearly a newer plane and had a beautiful aesthetic. It felt roomy and comfortable. Now let's talk about the food and the drinks. Once we were in the air, we received our pre-ordered breakfast sandwiches, which were delivered promptly. If you do not pre-order your meals, you're left with whatever snacks are on the in-flight menu. We suggest considering the time of day and length of your flight like we did and deciding on food days before your flight. A quick note about alcohol. You can purchase it in the main cabin, but it's included with your ticket for premium. We took full advantage of that on the way home. While the aircraft can be comfortable, the people that bring it on home usually are the flight attendants. So let's talk about them. Of course this can change from flight to flight, but both of ours had really kind and down to earth crew members. One even encouraged us to get more than one drink at once. You love to see it. By the way, I'm Selena, and this is my husband Kamal, and this is The City and Beyond, where we like to teach and inspire full-time employees to be the best part-time travelers. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you like it and share it with a friend. And when you're on a long flight, you're gonna need some entertainment. So let's talk about that. We all know Selena spent most of her time playing Sims 4 during the flight, per usual. But there was entertainment supplied by Alaska Airlines. First, let's talk about the Wi-Fi. We had a little bit of trouble with it, but we also had messaging available from T-Mobile. So receiving a free hour from our phone carrier was a perk. There were no screens available on our plane, so all shows and movies had to be accessed by cell phone. Good thing you have those conveniently placed outlets to make sure your phone stays charged. So let's get to our overall score. I'm going to give Alaska Airlines a five. It feels like I'm giving these out like candy at this point, but we just had some really great experiences with some of these newer airlines. I thought the staff was friendly, the food was amazing, the seats were comfy. If I could change anything, it would be mm, more screens on the back of the seats. But really, I don't really need it. It was so comfy, I could just sleep on this plane and enjoy my ride. And I would give it a five as well. I think that the room and the seats were great. I think the food was great. I think the crew was great. I think everything was pretty top tier. And that was with us being in the main cabin 
and not first class or business class. And yeah, it was a pretty good trip. This makes their overall score a five. Yes, kids, that's right. This makes Alaska Airlines the first U.S. airline we've rated a perfect score. Do you agree with our score? I know a lot of you don't. Comment below and sound off. Like us because you like us. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so we can see you next week. Bye. Bye.